Ooh, okay, let's get straight into it, shall we? Uh, you'll know that already this is the middle of week 32. So, <clears throat> let us... Get down to business. Did I tell you guys about the time? No, nah, I'm not an old man. But What I will tell you guys is the story of a young man who was walking down the street one day when he crossed over into a field in a path that was usually full of youngsters playing football but there were none and he wondered why that was so he started to look around and then realized why there were no goal no there were no goal posts at either end of the field and the playground looked as if it was newly built so he went in there for a closer look and it looked that way because it was newly built. And when I say newly built, I mean it was brand new equipment and a brand new playground. No one had brought their youngsters or their little ones even to play in it yet. And that's when he started to wonder if the impossible had happened. Had he actually crossed the street, crossed the street into this park when the playground had been newly built? but there were no football goalposts yet, had he gone back in time, to when, even the park itself was fairly new, well, it wasn't long before he did meet someone, a mother bringing her four-year-old kids to, for her three and four-year-old kids to play on the equipment. Yes, the dad, the father was with them, he was carrying a newspaper. He got a look at the date on the newspaper, and the date on the read the 12th of July 1981 upon finding this out he fainted and when he woke up in the hospital just hours later, the family who had witnessed him faint and called an ambulance to come and pick him up was sitting around his bedside. And that's when he noticed that the young couple were actually his own parents and the four-year-old was him. 
and he'd now then realised he was revisiting a part of his own childhood. Of course, guys, this is just made up. It's not a true story. In reality, we know we cannot revisit our childhoods or go back and visit our parents' childhoods or our grandparents' childhoods or any distant ancestors for that matter because time travel to the past is impossible. Only possible in fiction. Yeah, I told you this because, well you should know already, and if you think that type of time travel is a reality, then you're living in a fantasy, wo a fantasy world, because it isn't, no, 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 anyway, I thought I'd do something fun this episode, and that was it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow. Until then... Have a nice day.